Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Uh, we are very happy here, and uh, thank you for everybody who is already joining uh, this uh, great show today. Uh, hold on. Uh, well, we're happy to have all of you. Thank you, everybody who is already there for the Go JB Health show. Uh, thank you very, very, very much. Today is the 27th of February, and I'm happy to see all of you. My dear friend, my dear favorite friend, uh, 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 Diane, Diane, God of, uh, of uh, uh, Diane, uh, God, God's child. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, well, you are one of my favorite supporters. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much. My friend, uh, uh, K Kiki. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Thank you, everybody. Thank you for being here again. Once again, I'm very happy to see everybody who is here. Uh, hello, my friend. Good look. Uh, my friend, good look. Good looking for you, which is a good screen name. So thank you for being here. I'm very happy to see you. Everybody who is already joined, please give us a share. Give us a like. Thank you for being here again. We are here today. We're going to answer a lot of questions. So mainly we're going to focus on the show uh, today. We're going to spend more time answering questions than anything. So uh, your questions here, what's, that's what we're going to answer. Uh, good looking for you. Uh, thank you for being a new follower. We are happy to have you. And thank you for everybody who is already tapping on that screen. Again, uh, uh, go JB Health, go JB Health, a great platform to educate people about better ways to understand their body, to be the best, the best mechanic of their own body. If you just join, if you are not a follower to this program already, I'm letting you know that it will be the whole show and the evening is loaded on YouTube. So if you miss anything, it will be on YouTube and all the past shows. If you want to know what we talk about the last time, you can go on YouTube. We have all of them loaded on YouTube. But also, if you are new, we encourage that you share this video. We also we encourage that you follow us so you know whenever we are live the next time. My name is JB. I'm here. Uh, I am a family uh, nurse practitioner who is here to educate his people who believe that education is key who believes that people should be educated about the medications they are taking they should be taken about they should be educated thank you my dear friend uh, uh, slow uh, 574 who shared this video we appreciate you we do believe people should be educated on the medications they are taking we do believe people should be aware of their conditions it should be broken down in simple terms they can understand <laughs> Uh, we have seen a lot of situations. Again, I have started this journey after I'm seeing a lot of my patients here in this office asking some very basic questions. After when I work in the hospitals, I'm I'm seeing so many patients. They sit there, but then if you ask them what's going on with you, they may not even know. So I think we need to take some more time to educate our people. We need to take some more time to educate our patients, our population. And this is why I'm in this very important journey. So I want to say thank you to everybody who is uh, blood pressure medications. Uh, my dear friend asked about blood pressure medications. Um, so the thing is, uh, we need to make sure that we educate our people about their condition. They need to know what's going on in their life. Again, everybody who is tapping on the screen, I'm very appreciative of you. If you just join, we encourage that you follow us so you know whenever we are live the next time. Blood pressure medications, the, mo the most important thing since we're talking about this, I think if you are taking blood pressure medications, as I always say, we need to make sure that I, there are a few things that I'm going to let you know. So if you're taking blood pressure medication, let's talk about some of the most common side effects from blood pressure medications. So number one, you may have uh, leg swelling. If you have leg swelling, which I do have some videos out there that talks about this. If you are taking blood pressure medications, you're having leg swelling. I want you to check on your medications bottle to see that you are not taking amlodipine as this medication. Then the other name for it, by the way, is Novas. This medication is well known to cause some leg pain. I have some leg inflammation. So if uh, I've seen a lot of patients, they just have leg swelling, but they don't, real they don't realize that it is just from taking that amlodipine. All they have to do is check with their primary care provider, stop that amlodipine, and then the leg swelling will go away. So that's one thing. Number two, if you have that dry, hacking cough, and you are 
taking blood pressure medications, I would like for you to do me a favor. I want you to go to your medication bottles and see if you are taking this medication that is called lisinopril. Lisinopril is this medication. It's a great medicine, especially for non-African American people. It is a great medication. However, this medication can cause this side effect that is very common, the dry, hacking cough that you have, a non-productive cough that you have that never stops. Whatever medications you take, it doesn't stop. Uh, my dear friend, uh, Mildred, thank you for being here. Hey, good afternoon. Again, thank you, everybody, who who is uh, sharing. Thank you, everybody, who became new followers. The people who are supporting us, giving us those likes, uh, we appreciate you very much. We appreciate everybody who are subscribers to this platform. Again, this is a platform of education. If you miss any part of the show, just know it will be loaded on our YouTube page at GoJB, uh, the same screen name at uh, GoJB Health. So you will be able to do that. I have a lot of people pushing on that screen. I'm push I'm very appreciative of you guys. Melissa, uh, Omisa, thank you for being a new follower. We have a lot of uh, people who are being new followers here we appreciate all of you hello my dear friend uh Willinda. how you doing i'm happy to see you good good afternoon my dear friend howay howay uh thank you for being here again as i was saying i'm talking about some of the most common uh, side effects that you get from blood pressure and I, I, I guess today you guys brought the topic since somebody talked about high blood pressure so we're talking about some of the most common symptoms that you have some you could have some from some of those blood pressure medications again we not we're going to also talk about blood uh, other side effects such as uh oh really okay so my dear friend says um uh lisinopril makes lip swelling i'm telling you if you have lip swelling from that lisinopril especially if you are dark dark skin you should really run run away from it you should immediately call your doctor make sure you do what you have to do because there is that side effect from lisinopril that happens to that happen mainly among the african-american this side effect that is called angioedema so it's that side effect where you start having swelling you have a lot of swelling up there and the upper on the upper respiratory tract where your throat swells and all that hello my dear friend K casey kelly uh, Casey Kell, uh, G, how you doing? Uh, good afternoon. So yeah, you have that side effect and that is a, a crazy, yes, my dear friend, angioedema. And that is, that could be a medical, a true medical emergency. So if you are taking lisinopril, you have any side effect, like my friend who say they have side effect, they feel like the lips swell. Yeah, that is not a good thing. We got to move away from that. Again, you got to move away from that in um in a very good agreement with your provider thank you everybody who are pushing pushing on the on the like we appreciate you my dear friend mary thank you for being here thank you for being in the house we appreciate every 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 single person who are here now the other side effects that a lot of the time people have with blood pressure medications obviously sometimes they don't even want to talk about it and again our platform we talk about a lot of stuff so we try to be as much as we can we try to talk about a lot of those topics because we believe that people we need to talk about it it, it is what it is so there's a lot of men a lot of men sometimes you give them the blood pressure medication and they may not be taking it thank you everybody i have a lot of people who are uh, my friend carolyn uh, uh loans uh how are you doing good afternoon uh, thank you for being here thank you my friend uh, w uh LA55 uh who just shared the video we appreciate you so the thing is with men sometimes they have those sexual side effects so the uh, medication sometimes they take the medicine and the medication causing them to not be able to perform sexually uh they they cannot perform so therefore i'm encouraging you let's not keep it for ourselves let's not just say i'm just gonna sit there and not take the medications it's okay to have this conversation with your provider it's okay to have that conversation with me a lot of the time i try to address this conversation before they even ask me about it because i know sometimes it could be a little not as comfortable to talk about this but good afternoon, my friend, uh, Warrior. Uh, 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 thank you for being uh, we crazy. Uh, we crazy. Uh, thank you uh, for being here. So, uh, and I do. I'm getting to you, my friend, who says that you take that medication, Losartan, that makes you dizzy. So we're gonna get to this. But 
if you are a man and you're taking this medication, this blood pressure medication, it's causing you to not be able to perform sexually, to not be able to perform well. So instead of just quit this medication, I want you to have a conversation with your provider. You need to have that good communication with your provider because, again, you need to talk to your doctor so we could switch you to a different medications. Or sometimes I go ahead and give you something else to help you with your sexual life, with the sex life. Because again, that is extremely important. We have a lot of men that have very high blood pressure, but then they cannot get it controlled because of the fact that they are afraid that it will cause them to have those sexual side effects. And sometimes those are real. Those are real. Those are, those happens. Those are, you know, those are real side effects that a lot of people have from taking uh, some of the blood pressure medications uh, to not say most of them can cause those side effects, those sexual side effects. So if you know somebody or maybe you have your partner, they are not taking these medications. Sometimes they may not even tell you why, because again, it is a topic that is not as easy, but it may be that they are not taking, yes, if you have chronic cough with lisinopril, all you have to do is stop it, my friend, my dear friend. So if you are taking this, uh, if they are taking that blood pressure medications, but then they're, they're, they're serving, they're, they are feeling like, okay, I'm not taking this medications. They may say, they may come up with a lot of excuses again. I mean, it's not their fault because you got to find a way to defend yourself to say the reason you're not taking it. But this is why I think it is extremely important to have a provider that you have a very good uh, link of communication with that provider where we could discuss things. My patients, I'm like, you go, bro. Talk to me. Let's sit down. Let's have a talk. If it's giving you problem, I'm going to give you some other medications. I could either switch the medications that you're taking or I'm going to give you some some other medications to help you with the sexual side effects. This is very common, more common than we think. Again, whether you are a provider watching this, thank you, Ingrid, for giving us those beautiful fresh rolls. I appreciate it. Whether and for giving us three, five, eight, ten roses, we appreciate you, my dear friend, my dear friend, and I do have my dear friend, uh, Bobby Bubble, who are giving us beautiful roses as well. We appreciate you guys. But the thing is, somebody gave me something that I've never re received before. Uh, it's called the Rose Bear. My friend, my friend Kathy St. John, thank you for that Rose Bear. This is my first time receiving that Rose Bear. It looks so beautiful. Thank you, guys. So, the thing is, if you are taking this medications and you are a man, uh, don't just be sitting there. Have a conversation with your doctor. Again, we know those topics are not as easy for a man to discuss, even with their spouse. And again, one of the show we'll be talking about different ways for men to address their issue with sex, with sexual issues. Like, and because we have a lot of household are broken down just because of those situations. So we're gonna have a show where we will be talking about this topic right here. But if you have a man who is taking that medication and all of a sudden they say it could be your husband it could be your friend all of a sudden they say well i want to take this medicine or you look at the bottle the bottle is full of medication of medicine they don't take it a lot of the time it's maybe because it affects their sex life so again with their sex life us men we're not gonna play with that so if it's affecting our sex life most likely we may not want to continue to take it um so therefore the best thing is for them and again you could, you could encourage them say well you know if that medication doesn't fit you well because it may be that you don't want you to know exactly why i'm telling you patients would come here sometimes they don't even want to talk to the assistant about that issue they would talk to me about it and a lot of the time too i may if you're not taking the medications i question you about it i try to make it cool so we could have a conversation because even if we don't talk about it what's gonna happen we're not gonna take our medicine we're gonna continue to have a very high blood pressure we could end up with a stroke and it could lead to more problems you know so if you know somebody who may be in this situation, encourage them to have that conversation with your pri with their primary care provider. Again, if you just join, we encourage that you follow this page because we always have that show every day, 1 p.m. I really appreciate everybody, every new followers, every new people who just join this platform. Again, this show, if you miss anything, it will be available on our YouTube platform. All the other shows that we have had so far, we have loaded most of them on our YouTube platform. The YouTube is go underscore J. JB Health, the same, uh, the same name. So again, uh, we encourage the people who are giving us those likes, the people who are sharing. We truly appreciate you. Now, I have a friend of mine here who said that Losartan causes them 
to be dizzy. So if low sartan causes you to be dizzy, now few things that may be happening. One of the thing is like when you feel dizzy, did you check your blood pressure? You need to check your blood pressure if you feel dizzy because it could be that this medication is too strong. It could be you taking too much of a high dose because when your blood pressure drops, one of the side effects you may have is having dizziness. So if you are taking blood pressure medication and you feel dizzy when you take the blood pressure medication, when you have that dizziness, I would like for you to check your blood pressure. See what your blood pressure is. Is. And if your blood pressure is so low, you may want to call your doctor. Tell them that when I take the medication, it makes me dizzy because it makes you dizzy because of the fact that maybe the dose, as I was saying, is too high for you. If the dose of the medication that you are taking is too high, it may cause you to be dizzy. This is for my friend who say they have dizziness. I do have a lot of people here, a lot of new people here. I really appreciate you. I have a lot of dear friend, Jerry, Bev Cam. I have so many people tapping on that screen. I don't know how much to thank you. I don't know how much to say thank you to everybody who are very supportive of this platform, a platform where we do something different, a, a platform where we talk about healthcare, about a lot of stuff that people don't really talk about, about a lot of the times, sometimes you go to your doctor, you have the list of all these things you want to discuss. But unfortunately, when the doctor walk out of the room, that's when you remember all those things that you forgot. So again, what we do is, uh, uh, so my friend, uh, Phoebe, uh, Phoebe. Okay. Thank you for telling me what your name is. My dear friend, Phoebe, again, my friend, Bev Kim giving us some nine, 10, 12, 16, 17 rows. Well, 20 something roses, uh, 20 roses from my dear friend, Bev Kim. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the appreciation. I want to thank everybody. I have so many people that are tapping on that screen. I have so many people who are giving us roses, giving us gifts, uh, giving us appreciation and encouraging us to do what we are doing here. So I'm very appreciative of every one of you. It's so many of you. I may not be able to name every single person, but I see you and I'm very thankful of you. And again, as I said, this thing we're doing here is not just for me. It's just, it's, it's not even just for people in the U.S., but it's for people all over the world. We have people connecting from everywhere watching this show and benefiting from it. Like I had, you know, friends who say, well, you know, this helps me this way. It helps me that way. So we really, appreciate you but uh, but the other thing i wanted to address today as far as a uh, taking since we're talking about blood pressure medicine one of the things that i've seen is so many of you are taking medication just for taking medications when it comes to blood pressure medicine i have so many people with so many bottles of medicine everywhere around the house i have so many people tapping on that screen and i'm very appreciative i don't know guys i don't know how to thank you all but anyway you have so many people with those medicine bottles however they sometimes they don't know what they're taking the medications for but also they may not be taking the right medications the other thing is, is the medications working? Again, there, is, there are a couple of situations here. So I'm taking a medicine. It's great to take a medicine. But now why am I taking the medications? We take medications because we want some help, because we want to feel better, because we want to improve our health, because we want to prevent complications. That's why we take medicine. However, when you are taking all this medicine and you don't monitor to see how well you are doing. Hi, my dear friend, uh, uh, Jake Lee, uh, Jake J uh, Jeligo, uh, thank you for being here. We appreciate you. So if you are taking all this medicine, but you don't have a way of monitoring of being able to see whether this medication is helping you. So then this is a big problem because if you don't know if that medicine is helping you, then why am I even taking it? Because remember, I prescribe medicine. I believe in medicine. Medicine is very important. However, medicine, every single medicine have some side effects. So why am I taking something that is having side effects when I don't even know if it's working for me? I don't even know how it's helping me. So this is what takes us to this point of whether you are being treated for anything, diabetes, high blood pressure, but let's take high blood pressure. You need to be checking that blood pressure. You need to make sure that blood pressure is working. That's extremely, extremely important. So say my brother is all the way in Jamaica. Uh, he have heart problem uh, and his meds makes him dizzy. Yeah. So if your medications, if you're taking blood pressure medications, I'm saying this again, if you are taking blood pressure medications and you are feeling dizzy, you need to check your blood pressure immediately because you may be suffering from low blood pressure because if you take 
too much blood pressure medications or the dose you're taking is too high for you, it may cause you to be dizzy. So this is enough. The first process is for you to check your blood pressure. Obviously, if you feel dizzy where you feel very sick, you need to call 911. But the first process is to check your blood pressure, see what the number is, and contact your doctor so you tell them what the number is with that they will help you to see if they have to decrease the dose or if to, they have to put you on a different medication because again high blood pressure is not good for us but low blood pressure is not good for us either so we want to keep our blood pressure within the normal range thank you my friend sophia who is giving me six seven eight nine ten row well, 11 roses well 13 roses or let's say 16 17 18 20, 23, 24, 25, or oh, a lot of roses. So 26 roses from my dear friend, uh, Sophia. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you for your appreciation. Thank you for the support. Thank you for saying yes. You want to support this platform, this platform that is helping hundred thousands of people. If you look on our page, we are reaching a lot, a lot of people. But we could do this because you guys are encouraging us. We could do this because I have so many people tapping on that screen, giving us those likes. We have so many people who says, yes, this is a great thing that we need to continue to do it. So. Like we were saying, if you are taking all these blood pressure medications, you need to be monitoring your blood pressure to make sure that you're helping you. You need to have a plan. There's no problem. Uh, uh, so he says, lisinopril causes my heart to stop. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm your heart stopped. Now you are sending this message, which means I'm happy that you made it. So again, uh, medications have side effects. We know that. We have to take them because they are very important in our life because they are life-saving. I mean, medications are life-saving. You got to be taking your medications. You got to be compliant and taking your medications. I believe in you taking your medicine. However, even though that you guys do know that I believe in finding natural ways to not be put in on to not be put on medications like usually we talk here about things like exercises like diet and all that stuff we believe in those things however whenever you say yes i'm gonna be taking this medicine i want you uh my dear friend bev kim who just gave us that big old heart i appreciate that i want you to say yes i'm taking that blood pressure medications but while i'm taking that blood pressure medications i want to make sure i'm taking it for the right reason the right reason will be is the is this blood pressure medication really helping me is it uh something i'm just taking just to say i'm taking medicine just when somebody sees me i could say well look at my look at look at my bag look at how many bottles i'm taking well we're not taking the blood pressure medications for that we're taking it because we're trying to prevent a stroke. We're taking it because we're trying to prevent our heart from getting damaged. We're taking the blood pressure medications because we're trying to get our kidney to not get damaged from high blood pressure. So, therefore, if we are taking it, just taking it is not enough. The best thing is we should be taking it, but we need to make sure it is working. And again, I can't emphasize on this more. We need to make sure that it is working. How do I know it's working? That may be your question. Well, I'm going to know that it's working when I check my blood pressure and my blood pressure is normal. This is the purpose of being on blood pressure medications. Otherwise, you don't. why would you be taking something that is not helping you? So I tell you right here, the purpose of continuously taking this medicine, it's not a medicine you're just taking because you want to be, you, 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 because you want to be, 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 be funny or you want to show off or anything like that. But it's something you are taking because you're trying to prevent some complications. But how do you prevent those complications when you don't know whether it's working or not? What's, what's a shame situation where you're taking all these bottles of uh, uh, blood pressure med medicine and you end up with a stroke? Okay. You end up with a stroke because that medication was not really helping you. So again, we cannot determine that for you because a lot of the time, the compliance, we can help you as much as we can. Again, the people who are tapping on that screen, I'm so, so appreciative of you. A lot of love for you all. Uh, I appreciate every one of you. But again, we cannot, uh, when it's normal, stop. No, please don't stop taking it because it's normal. And again, any of these things are not things that you're going to do. You got to work with your doctor. You cannot stop taking it. So my, 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 my thing, what I'm saying is 
when you are taking the blood pressure medications, I'm pretty sure your doctor told you that you need to be checking your blood pressure. So you check your blood pressure while you're taking your blood pressure medications. So if you are taking the blood pressure medicine and your blood pressure is controlled, that's a good thing. Then we need to continue to take that medicine, okay? So what I'm saying is if you are taking the blood pressure medication, user 42, thank you for being a new follower. We appreciate you. Thank you very, very much. And thank you, user 29, uh, um, um, for being a new follower. My dear friend, a nurse underscore flying 911, thank you for that great heart that you just give me. So the thing is, if you are taking uh, that blood pressure medications, right, my thing is I'm taking it. It's okay to take it. Because it is important for us. But why is it important for us? So that we don't have a stroke. Why is it important for us? It, so that our heart doesn't get damaged from high blood pressure. Why is it important for us? So that we don't end up with kidney disease. So if we know those are the things, those are the reasons we are taking this medicine, we want to make sure this medicine is working. How do I know? I have to check the blood pressure. It has to be normal. Now, my friend asked me, should you stop it? No. The blood pressure issues, unfortunately, my dear friend who asked me that, it's unfortunately a chronic condition. A chronic condition is a condition that we're going we're gonna to manage the condition. We're going to make sure we keep, we keep it under control. So you don't stop it. You continue to take it because that means it's working. So the reason when you check your blood pressure, your blood pressure is normal is because your blood pressure medication is working, right? My uh, new friends who are my new friend uh, Tara, my new friend Quick Test or Quick Tease, uh, Quick Quick One Set, all those people who are following you, newly following us. We have so many new people every day joining in this effort of educating people i really i don't know how much i have to appreciate that support that i'm getting from so many so many of you guys my friend uh uh Trini, thank you so i was trying to make that clear when our blood pressure is controlled we do not stop taking the medicine but we continue to take the medicine because we want our blood pressure to continue to be normal. The reason your blood pressure is normal is because you are taking your medicine. If you stop taking the medicine, what will happen is that your blood pressure will start elevating again. We are taking blood pressure medications because we don't want any complications from elevated blood pressure. Any complications, any unfortunate situations such as uh, having a... Having uh, some heart issues or having kidney damage or anything like that. This is why we're taking that. Miss uh, Misa uh, Nisa, uh, appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you too as well, my dear friend. So this is the reason why we are taking that blood pressure medicine. So I want this to be clear for everybody. We do not, the number one thing, you do not stop any medications without talking to your doctor. You have to talk to your doctor, your specialist, your primary care provider before you stop anything. Because you need to work with them on a plan to see why or should you stop it. Blood pressure medications, you take it, you got to continue to take it because blood pressure is a chronic issue. However, I do have a little great news for you, however. Sometimes some people may be having high blood pressure because they end up with a lot of weights and things like that. Or maybe they're eating a very heavy salt diet. Thank you, my friend uh, uh, Marlene, for those beautiful fresh roses, freshly picked. So thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, my dear. So the thing is, the problem is when you are um, taking those medicine. You want to make sure, number one, you want to make sure that you are monitoring your blood pressure to make sure it is controlled. But as I said, it is chronic. So the thing that we were about to talk, we were talking about was the good news about people who are taking blood pressure medications. If you did have some complications that you had something like a lot of you were putting on a lot of weight or maybe you were... Um, you had some, some people may have thyroid issues or you had another reasons that cause your blood pressure to, to be high. Then therefore, if we take care of those issues, we may be able to get off the medications. So now that's a great news. If you may be saying you were overweight, that's why you had high blood pressure. Well, if you work hard, you 
you know, take your weight down, or maybe you're eating a lot of salty food, and now you change your diet. All this could improve it. But my thing is, we're not going to sit there and say, I'm going to determine now, I'm going to stop it. We don't do that. So we only stop if our doctors tell us to stop. So we don't just stop like this. It doesn't work that way. So, you know, so, uh, uh, so somebody, uh, so somebody say, hi, I was born with essential hypertension when I was 20 years old. I'm 59 years old now doing good. Okay, great. So the thing is, uh, what people don't understand, you could be diagnosed with high blood pressure, but the best thing is if you do the right thing, if you follow a lot of the things that we talk about here, if you follow a lot of the things about maybe your doctor told you and you keep taking your medications, you're being compliant. I'm telling you, you could live a very good quality life. There is a lot of people that we see in our community and our society, that whole very high position. If you ask them, they're taking the same medicine like you are taking. But the thing is, if you don't keep it under control, this is when the problems come. This is when the damages come. And we did talk about all these why and the reasons and all that stuff, why we have those damages. So, again, uh, good, how much, nice, make your, okay, so how much rice? Well, now how much rice, somebody asked how much rice can, can too much rice, okay, can too much rice make your blood pressure high? Uh, blood, blood sugar high obviously yes because rice is a starch it turns into sugar okay anything that turns into sugar can make your blood sugar high now the good thing is for somebody who are not diabetic our pancreas is working well enough that we have enough insulin to handle that excess of sugar that we are eating okay so Again, we, we were talking about blood pressure, but today I'm really answering. I'm trying to spend a lot of time answering a lot of questions today. So uh, the thing is, if you just join, please follow us. Uh, we appreciate everybody who are giving us likes, by the way. Uh, we appreciate everybody who newly followed. We appreciate the people. You could always become a subscriber to this platform by clicking on the subscribe button on top. I always forgot to say that, but on the very top, you could become a subscriber and become one of our one of my friends on TikTok. So, yeah, I have to just uh, mention that every once in a while. Usually I forgot to say that because I'm so excited about what I'm doing. But anyway, so <clears throat> remember, we talked about blood sugar the other day. So when you eat rice, because I don't want to just tell you, yes, it's going to increase it. But I want to explain it to you because remember, my job is to help you, my princess. Thank you for being a new follower. Um it's helping you to be a good mechanic of your body. So what happens is when you eat anything that turns into starch, when you eat any starch, saying bread, rice, and all those things, when you eat them, they turn into sugar. Okay, all these things are easily turned into sugar. They are quick, quick sugar. Now what happens is somebody who is diabetic. Um, uh, how often do you come on? Okay, so every day, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Monday through Friday, I'm always here. If you miss anything, uh, the show is also available on YouTube. So I load it on YouTube. The name of the channel on YouTube is the same thing, go underscore uh, JB Health. So you could always go there. If you miss anything, the whole show is actually loaded on youtube so yeah that's where we are thank you for being here just follow us so you know whenever i'm i'm, I'm on uh, my dear friend um Bobo, actually, my different Bobo, who gave us some beautiful roses earlier. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Um, so, yeah, as I was saying, so when you have that excess sugar that goes into the blood, as we were talking about it when we were talking about diabetes. So when you eat bread, you eat uh, saying things like um, uh, mac and cheese, uh, spaghetti, um rice like i was saying all these things are quickly turned into sugar so then that sugar when you eat that sugar goes in your blood okay the sugar is in your blood the good thing for people who are not diabetic as i was saying our pancreas is able to work hard and remove all that excess of sugar that all those things that turns into sugar it remove that excess and put it in our cells actually those things actually gives us energy it makes us strong now, the problem is 
when you are diabetic, when your pancreas is not working as well and producing insulin or maybe is resistant to insulin, which uh, I have a video, I think I posted it already on our page that talk about insulin resistant. So then what happens is you have that excess uh, sugar that is piling up in your blood. It is not being moved from the blood into the cells. Okay, to produce that energy. And this is why, as a, as a result, people with diabetes get skinny. Uh, thank you, my friend Stephanie. Thank you for being here. Hello. Good afternoon. So what happened is that excess of sugar is staying in your blood. This is when you check your blood sugar and say your blood sugar is elevated. Thank you, all the people who are giving us the like, who are giving us the share. So this is exactly what happened. So that's why when you eat rice, the rice turns into quick sugar. It gets into your blood, your blood, right? Now, if you have good, um, if you have good insulin being produced by your pancreas, or you have, and you or you, your cells are very sensitive to that insulin, means they are very responsive to the insulin. Obviously, you're not gonna have any problem. You could eat a lot of sweet stuff, a lot of rice, a lot of uh, spaghetti, all that stuff. You could eat it easily. Your insulin and your body will be able to remove it from the blood into the cell. Bang! If we remove it, if it's in the cell, it cannot hurt you. The sugar will help hurt you only if it remains in your blood. That's when it hurts you. So with people who don't have any diabetes, it's fine. But if you're diabetic, this is why we discourage you from eating all those starchy. That's why we say the best diet is non-starchy vegetable. So don't eat all those starch. Don't eat anything that would easily be uh, what is a good blood sugar. Usually in the morning, fasting, it should be... Uh, in the, between a 70 to 100, uh, that would be a good number before you ate, okay? But again, we usually look at an A1C. If you have an A1C, the minute that you start being on, actually, you should be in the 5.7 or below. That would be normal. But the minute you start being in the 5.8 to 6 point something, those are pre-diabetic. And if you're in the 5, 6.5 and above, then we're looking at you being a diabetic. But the thing is, well, as we were saying, this is the reason. Again, I try to explain it because I want you to understand how it works. Instead of me telling you what to do, it's always better if you understand, if it makes sense to you. Because if you are eating that sugar and you are not able to uh, you are not able to move that sugar out of your blood, this is when you have high blood sugar. And again, it could be fine, but whenever we have we keep high sugar in our blood, it's going to damage our body because that blood is going everywhere and it's going to damage our kidneys, it's going to damage our heart, it's going to damage our eyes, it's going to damage our leg, by like, uh, uh, messed up those nerve endings, causing neuropathy and things like that. Hello, my friend Abizoi. Abizoi, thank you for being here. We're glad to see you. So again, this is the reason why, like my friend was asking me, this is the reason why when you are diabetic, we don't encourage that you eat things like rice because it will make your blood sugar worse. Again, we did explain it to you. We did show you exactly the reason. We explain it because we believe that when we explain it, Chief, thank you, uh, Chef uh, 2024. Thank you for uh, being a new follower. We appreciate you. Uh, my friend Obami, um, Oba Michelle, uh, thank you for uh, sharing. We appreciate you. Uh, thank you. I have a lot of people here. So it says function better when sugar is high. Once it drops to 120, I feel weak. So the thing is, uh, uh, sometimes when you are diabetic, what happens with the body, if your body is used to function with very high sugar. So again, uh, when I say that normal, I'm talking normal for people who are not diabetic. So for you who is diabetic, based on your level of diabetes, you may want to check with your primary care provider or the endocrinologist or whoever is managing your, your diabetes. You may want to check with them for them to give you a normal number. You may have a normal number for you because if your body is used to so much sugar and all of a sudden you deprive them some, from, from that sugar that you need in your blood, it could cause you to be dizzy. Like my friend was saying that uh, and now if it goes below 120, they, got, they become sick. So yes, I, I agree because if you, if you use, if you're, it's the same thing with blood pressure. 
if I, like me right now, you could see my blood pressure can increase very little bit and I may start having a lot of symptoms. However, somebody who is running a blood pressure that is in the 200s all the time, obviously it's different. If I take their blood pressure and drop it down to my blood pressure right now, it could cause problem, which is the reason why a lot of the providers who is under this live can tell you the reason why when somebody is having very high blood pressure, whether they come to the hospital or whether they come to a clinic, we will not drop your blood pressure too quickly because dropping blood pressure too quickly actually sometimes can actually cause a stroke. So we got to make sure that we give you that medication. We gradually bring your blood pressure down. That's what we try to do because we don't want to cause you to have a stroke by dropping your blood pressure too quickly uh, with giving you so much medication all at once. So that's extremely important. So I do understand your point, my friend, who said that when you are at the 120s, you feel like if it's below 120, you feel like you are getting dizzy or you're getting uh, weak and all that. It's because of the fact that your body is just used to that high sugar. <laughs> to that very high sugar. So yes, my friend. Um, so again, if you are new to this platform, we encourage that you follow us so you know whenever we are live. This show, for the people who've been asking me, uh, this show is on every day, 1, East, 1 p.m. Eastern time. So 1 p.m. Eastern time. If you follow us, you will get a notification that we are live, that you could be part of the show. There's a lot of ways that you could help us with this show. Right now, if you're watching, we encourage that you go on YouTube and follow us and subscribe to us in the YouTube platform, the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is the same. Uh, go underscore JB Health. You could always help us. Other ways you could help us, you could always... Uh, there's a lot of people here, like my friend uh, Sweetie, uh, who uh, or my friend uh, User18, who are tapping on the screen, giving us likes. That's a way you could help help us. You're helping us when you follow us. You're helping yourself, but you're helping us as well because you're helping us spreading this news. Also, uh, you could share this video. When you share the video, it helps us because uh, it helps for other people to see it. All those people all, out of the, all throughout the world who are seeing it, it helps them to. It helps us to reach more people. Uh, the other way you could help us, there's a lot of people who became subscribers to this platform. To subscribe, there's a subscriber button on the very top. You click on it, you become a subscriber. Once you become a subscriber, I'll send you a welcome welcome message which will allow you to direct message me by the way and that will be a way to support us again it's so many so many ways that you could support what i'm doing here again if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel it's go at go underscore jb health and if you click on our main page on our profile on tiktok if you click on that little button it will take you directly to our youtube you will see our youtube and our instagram is connected there so that's another way that you could help us by growing those platforms so we could educate other people who are of the TikTok platform. So again, uh, I'm very appreciative to every one of you here, every one of you who is pushing on that screen, every one of you who believes on the educational platform. I I, I truly appreciate you. Uh, I subscribe. Uh, okay. You say you subscribe to my TikTok. Now, when you subscribe, there is a difference with uh, subscribing and following. When you, you know, it's like on YouTube, you just subscribe. Now, on TikTok, following you just hit follow subscribing you have to click on the subscribe button that is on top it's a it's in gold so you have to click on that to be able to subscribe so once you subscribe you will receive a message from me to say welcome and thank you for subscribing but again i have a lot of new people who are following this platform we appreciate you guys again what we're doing here is just educating people really i'm a family uh, nurse practitioner for those of you who don't know who i am i'm a family practitioner my background i work in a clinic as i'm talking here i'm actually in Inside All Care Health Clinic. That's where I'm right now. If you are in Atlanta, in the Atlanta area, I am in Georgia. I am in Smyrna, Georgia. So that's where we are, all wide off Atlanta Road. And also, I work in the hospital. Like tonight, I'll be covering the hospital. So I do hospital medicine and I do outpatient medicine. That's who I am as far as my background. I appreciate every one of you who are supporting the effort that we are uh, making to educate people what is a good blood pressure for our age and and weight the blood pressure not necessarily goes based on weight but uh the blood pressure the normal blood pressure for an adult would be between 120 to uh, over 80 120 over 80 would be a very good ideal blood pressure uh, thank you, my dear friend, Edila, uh, for giving us rose appreciate you thank you very very much so the thing is uh, um 
again, as I was saying earlier, uh, thank you for the people who are tapping on the screen. I see a lot of people tapping on that screen. I'm very appreciative to every one of you. Like I was saying earlier, uh, you always have to work with your primary care doctor because sometimes they may have a better, uh, based on your condition, based on your history, they may decide for you which one is the best. Uh, uh, my dear friend here has a very important question for me. So what is your question, my dear friend? That's why I'm here. I'm here to answer questions, every question that I can answer. Uh, just so you guys know, I post one to two videos every single day on this platform. So I have a lot of educational content. Uh, and it, it also, if you go on YouTube, you also see the full sh the full of the show. If you just join, you could see the full show on YouTube. If you haven't followed us on YouTube, if you haven't subscribed to us on YouTube, we encourage that you do this. Again, uh, thank you for everybody who is giving us the like uh, or a share. We appreciate you all. Uh, you could always go to our uh, platform on YouTube and subscribe. Go to Instagram and subscribe. Again, all we're doing, you see our platform, it's all geared toward providing education. I'm taking a little time out of seeing my patients here just so I could educate my brothers and sisters. My dear friend, Nicole, one of our subscribers, uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for the rose. I appreciate the gift. Um, so all we're doing here, I have a lot of new people subscribing. I appreciate you all for being a subscriber. But uh, all we're doing here is all about healthcare. If you look throughout our, our platform, you will see it's all. Uh, when are you talking about lisinopril? Oh, my dear friend, I just talk about lisinopril. However, lisinopril is a blood pressure medication. I think one of the mon most important thing I want you to know about lisinopril, by the way, uh, I do have a video that I posted there about that. If you are, especially if you are African um, and you are taking lisinopril uh you may be i mean usually it's really not it's that's something you may want to discuss with your doctor if it's working for you that's fine but it could cause the ngo edema again as I said, nobody should ever stop a medications without talking to your doctor. I would not want one of my patients to just stop a medications just because they're watching a show because there's a lot of factors into medicine. So if you are taking a medicine, um, there's a lot of things to look at before you would be uh, stopping this medicine. But one of the side effects that people have is they may have a dry hacking cough with lisinopril. And I think earlier we were talking about how a lot of men may have a lot of side effects with those blood pressure medications. Not necessarily just uh, lisinopril, but a lot of blood pressure medications, they may have a lot of side, side, side effect because uh, they, uh, what happened is it could cause them to have those sexual side effects. And my whole point was because of the because of how uncomfortable this subject is then i have a lot of my brothers out there who are having that side effects but then they don't ever discuss it with somebody and all they do is like okay well man i'm gonna stop this stupid medication because it's causing me to not be able to perform sexually so then they end up having a stroke because sometimes we may criticize our my brothers out there who end up with the stroke we may not understand their situation my advice to them or if you're watching here your advice should be to them if you have a guy friend who is taking that blood pressure medication all of a sudden they are telling you well this medication make me sick oh i just don't take it i just can't take it and sometimes they cannot even explain to you why they got sick encourage them to go to their primary care tell them you know what have a conversation with your primary care doctor talk to them about exactly what is happening to you when you take that medicine because sometimes it may just be they're having those sexual side effects and they don't want to discuss it with people they feel embarrassed about it so then they end up keeping that blood pressure elevated because they are not taking their blood pressure medications. Sometimes they don't even follow up for their, for their follow-up visits. So again, our job as trying to provide education, if I share this with you, I'm assuming that you could share it with somebody. Uh, yes, I know a lot of people are sharing this live. I know a lot of people copy those things, then send them to friends and all that. Uh, I know a lot of people is going to YouTube platform and be able to cook copy the YouTube link and post it somewhere so people could see it. But the one thing you could also do is just uh, talk to them. Uh, the information I share with you, I'm hoping that when I share it with those people, so then I share it with one person, I could that person shares it with somebody else and somebody else and somebody else. The same way that I do, because this information I used to share with one patient, okay? I used to share this one with one single patient in this office, and I've decided that, you know what? I'm going to try to share it with more people, more people, because there's a lot of more people that needs to hear about it. And again, if you guys uh, understand what I'm saying or if you guys want to know exactly what I'm saying, if you go to our platform today, you could see how many hundred thousands, hundred, hundred thousands people that we have reached for the past couple of months that we reached uh, more than... 
two million people, you know. So with those positive message, with message that really you are very welcome, my dear friend Bobo. Uh, we were very welcome. Thank you to you for the support. Thank you to you for believing in what we're doing. For thank you for you for believing in a platform that is educating our brothers and sisters. But again, what we try to do, we try to create a platform where we just talk about those very simple medical thing, uh, medical uh, issues that people have that nobody talks about, that sometimes uh, your doctor may not have the time to talk to you about. So we try to break them down. The same thing. This is something that I enjoy doing. Like this morning, I had a, I had a, a, a class. I teach uh, advanced cardiac classes. By the way, <laughs> I teach advanced cardiac classes. Modu, thank you for giving me uh, roses. I appreciate you. I teach advanced cardiac classes and I teach the basic cardiac classes, the BLS, the CPR class uh, for people who may not know about, be familiar with the advanced cardiac. So I was teaching a class this morning and I was telling the people, this is something I have a passion for. I love to share my knowledge with people. And this is, uh, I always say, one of the most exciting moment of my day is what I'm doing here. Seriously. I see patients, I enjoy seeing patients, everything. But the most joyful moment is when I'm here and I'm talking to all these people. I'm I actually, as I as I always say, I'm 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 really having so many other friends. Some people that I get to know them. Some people like Modu, um, a lot of other friends. Nicole, I have a lot of Bev Cam. All these people who are supporting us, who always here to support what we're doing. It's just that's one of the most amazing part of my day. So what we do is educate people, and and if you look at it. What you can do, if you go on uh, Google and you type CPR with JB, again, I, I know it's not for you because we don't do CPR, virtual CPR. We don't do that. Actually, I asked American Heart about that this morning, but we don't do s virtual CPR. But if you type CPR with JB, you'll see the comments. You'll see what people say about the type of education that we provide. You'll see what people say about who we are. And this is what we enjoy doing. So this is the same thing we are trying to do online. This is the same thing we're trying to teach other people. Now, you could help me by helping me spread the news through the other platforms, like through Instagram, through YouTube. And all you do, it's the same name. You go there and like us. You go there and follow us. You go there and help us grow on those platforms. And we could continue Continue to educate hundreds, hundred thousands of people. I have a lot of new people following. Again, when you follow me on this platform, it allows to know when allows you to know when I'm whenever I'm live the next time. But also it uh it also gives you the ability to be aware of all those small short videos I posted there, all about healthcare. Thank you everybody who is tapping on that screen, who is tapping on the screen, people who are sharing. Uh again, uh we are very, very, very grateful uh, to you guys. Uh really I have a lot of devoted people uh who are devoted in what we're doing and I truly, truly, truly appreciate you for what you do. Um it, it's just amazing and I and I don't know. I don't know how to thank you all i don't know what to say but i have had so much support from this community and again uh on the community in the united states but also a community all throughout the world i have so many people supporting what we do i have so many people believing in what we're doing it's just so so amazing again if you just join this show is every day monday through friday 1 p.m eastern time this is where we answer questions this is where we have fun with a lot of friends while we're talking important stuff, we're talking about important stuff while we're having friend, fun with a group of friends, a group of people who are supporting what we do, a group of people who believes that we should be educating people. So thank you, everybody, who gave us uh, so much love today. Thank you, everybody, who gave us uh, so much shares today. Uh, thank you for you who will be following us on uh, on YouTube or on Instagram. We appreciate you. Thank you for entertaining us. Thank you for spending this precious time with us. Uh, thank you for the people who gave us gifts, people who gave us roses. I think somebody gave me uh, what, what, or a bear something. So it's like, it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing to see so many people supporting uh, you like this, supporting you to do uh, what you're doing. So really, really, uh, I don't know how to thank you guys. I don't know how to say thank you to every single one of you who are there, uh, who willing to support what we're doing. So good. Uh, um, 
my dear friend uh, Pine uh, Pineapple. Oh yeah, my dear friend Pineapple. Uh, Pineapple, I have not uh, seen you in a while. Good afternoon, how are you doing? Thank you for being here. Uh, everybody, uh, I really am very appreciative of you, uh, everybody. Uh, so anyway, so if you tell me where you are uh, connecting this show today, so I have an idea of all the people supporting me. I like to do that. I like to see where, where my people are. I, I like to see where my supporters are. So let me know where you are. Where are you connecting this show right now? Where are you? Wh which state are you? Or if you are out of the country, what country are you? So I see uh, USA, North Carolina, uh, Malawi, uh, you know, I see Texas, I see New York, I see Jamaica, I see Atlanta, Georgia, and the Oh, you are in, oh no, okay, St. Louis and Atlanta. Well, I assume that you are in St. Louis now. I see uh, New York City again, I see uh, Virginia, I see Brooklyn, I see Jamaica again. So again, it's like uh, I see uh, California. Uh, so I see a lot of I has Los, Ange Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles, California, Texas. So um, I usually have a lot of people from everywhere in this country and everywhere in the world. I see Kenya here in the house too, South Africa in the house. So uh, my different, um, my different TT uh, from Seattle, uh, my different Jen. Uh, Gentriel uh, from Maryland. I have my friend Moma, uh, Moma from Savannah. Uh, so I see a lot of my people here. I see my dear friend here, uniquely Lewis. Yeah, I know you, my friend from Connecticut. I see my friend R Rieles, uh from Louisiana. Uh, so it's so many of my dear friend from everywhere. <laughs> Uh, from everywhere in this country and everywhere uh, from this world. So really, um, I don't know. I don't know how much I should thank you guys. Uh, I don't know how much I should appreciate you guys. But again, if you uh, miss any part of the show, we will be available. Uh, we will be available. Uh, uh, Abi, Abi Zoe, how you doing, Abi Zoe? What's going on? Which country are you? Uh, are you watching the show? Uh, which country or which state are you watching? Are you in the U.S. or are you outside of the U.S.? I want to thank you and I appreciate you for doing this. So many people. All in one day. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you to you, my dear friend, Abizoi in Nigeria. So I have Nigeria here in the house. Uh, I have, um, you know, a lot of people in the U.S., a lot of people in other countries and Jamaica, everywhere. So this is to say, when you support this project, you're supporting a project that is helping hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, you know, this is just a handful of people who are watching this show. But if you go to our page... You'll be able to see, you'll be able to see, really, you could see how many, how many hundreds of people that we've been able to touch, touch in a positive way, touch and educating them about the most precious things in their life, touch about educating them how to be the good mechanic of the body, how to better take care of themselves. So that's what, that's the type of touch we're talking about. So again, everyone who are here, we are getting to the very end of the show. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here today. Again, uh, you know you could always become a subscriber to this platform by clicking on the go button on top. You could become a subscriber, just like a lot of our friends, Bev Cam, Nicole, um, uh, Stephanie. So uh, it, you have a lot of those people. Uh, my friend, um, uh, my my friend, um, nursing uh, under flying nine one one. We have our friend uh, Saint John. So we have a lot of people who are already joining us as being a subscriber. So if you if you want to subscribe, uh, Phoebe, how you doing, my dear friend Phoebe? <laughs> If you want to join, you could always do that. Uh, just so you know, you could only do that when we are live. But more importantly, thank you for everybody who are sharing this video, like my friend Pineapple. 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 Thank you for sharing the video. We appreciate you. Uh, Go, Jamie. Go, Jamie.
my friend uniquely lewis uh been tapping on that screen and also sharing this video i appreciate you thank you for the love thank you for the appreciation and you guys i love you all my uh, princess all my queen out there the king the prince uh, out there i appreciate all of you guys i love you all and uh, thank you for the support thank you for the love uh tomorrow one o'clock Eastern time will be live. <laughs> My friend Lavish, Lavish, thank you for sharing the video. We appreciate you. You see you. We see you. Even though I have those glasses, I still see you. Okay. So I see you and thank you for sharing. So thank you, everybody. Everybody who are here today to, to support what we're doing. So yes, my dear friend, I'll be here waiting for you. We'll be here. We'll be here 1 p.m. Eastern time. And please, everybody, if you haven't done so, please go to our YouTube channel. Do that for me. Go on YouTube and subscribe to our platform we want more subscribers on youtube we want more uh followers on instagram so we want to grow this platform as well we want to make that statement the same way we're making it on tiktok we want to make that statement on those platform by having more people by having more and more people to support what we're doing by being able to educate more people every day like we do so please guys go to the youtube go to the ig and follow us follow us become part of our platform that's the best way that you could support us that the best thing that you could do for us we appreciate everybody everybody who are here today to support us it is go it is at go underscore jb health go i mean at go underscore jb health but again if you go to this tiktok page when you go on TikTok, when you go on my main page, if you click on that little button, it will actually take you directly to my YouTube channel, actually. Uh, YouTube, yes. YouTube is the same thing, at go underscore JB Health. And again, as I said, if you go to the... If you go to my main page on TikTok, it would allow you to actually... Uh, it would allow you to click on there and go directly to my YouTube page. So all of you who are here today, thank you. Much love for all of you. Much love. Thank you for the people who share, the people who believe in what we do. Again, I'm a family practitioner who believes that I should educate, who believes that I could share my knowledge with my people. So that's what I'm doing here. Well, thank you for the people who believes that they can help me in doing this job. So I'm very appreciative of every, every one of you, you who gave me roses. You who shared the video, you who became a follower today, and you who will be helping us on YouTube or Instagram, those precious subscribers that I have. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here for me. I truly, truly, truly appreciate every one of you. Uh, I really appreciate you. I think you guys are precious. Uh, you guys are priceless. Uh, uh, you guys are amazing. So thank you very much, guys. Oh, I have some people giving me roses here. Oh, yeah. So I have a lot of people giving me roses. Let me see. Uh, oh, so it's my friend. We we are less. Um, we are Lesta. We are Lesta. Thank you, my friend. My dear friend, we are Lesta. Thank you for the roses. Beautiful roses from my dear friend. We are Lesta. We are Lesta. We are Lesta. We are Lesta to lady. Uh, thank you, my dear. My dear. My dear friend. I love you very, very much. Little love for you. Thank you uh, very much. Thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for being here again. Once again, thank you for being here. We appreciate all of you guys. And you guys go. And you go and great health tomorrow, 1 p.m. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. This concludes our great health education show for today. Thank you very much. Thank you to every, every single one of you who spent this precious time with us. Again, if you are new to this platform, we encourage that you follow us so you know whenever we are live the next time. This show comes on every day, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. My name is JB. I'm a family nurse practitioner. 
who believes in educating his people, who believes on supporting his brothers and sisters by sharing his knowledge with them. If you missed the show again, it will be available on our YouTube channel. And if you have not followed us on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, we encourage that you do that now. Again, once again, the people who tap on the screen to give us the likes, the people who shared the video, the people who became new followers, those who gave us gifts on the show, the roses. We want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you to the people who subscribe to this platform. We want to say thank you to every one of you. Thank you for believing that together we could promote health, that together we could educate hundreds, hundreds of millions of people. I want to say thank you to every one of you. I really appreciate the support that I have all throughout this country, but also even all over the world. We have a lot of people supporting this great project of education. Again, thank you for being here. Until I see you the next time, you stay with great health. Thank you.